sometimes for simplicity of key names or for any other reason, companies can choose just element name pattern. And we've heard before that there are sometimes even requirements to use element name pattern, but without underscore, it's still possible to have such a pattern if one creates custom key namings. So let's briefly touch on custom key naming patterns. If you select this option, you can create any custom key naming pattern. You can fill in your text, uh, use separators, and use our default placeholders for names of the elements and other components in Figma. On top of what we've seen before, there is a possibility to add page names. And sometimes there are more variants, like why it is possible, for example, to insert element name without underscore if it's needed. But we'll touch on this in a bit separate video. The point that I wanted to make is that sometimes companies choose some variations of element name key naming, either for simplicity or by requirement. And one of the requirements that I've heard about before was that, you know, in certain frameworks, if you want to use macros, sometimes it is expected that you search by text within key names or macros to be working. And in this case, if you select some elements, like our entire artwork with the key names, you'll be pushing exactly like similar element key names to the tags. But like in this example, for example, there is no capitalization and some underscores. So let's just imagine that this also doesn't exist. We'll create the keys as is, and we might filter out and remove some data that should not be pushed. I manually unselect elements, but actually there is a filter as well that can exclude hidden layers and exclude untranslatable elements. And we use some regexes to exclude some elements like pure numbers or like timestamps, combinations of like one letter and like one letter number to filter out some of those automatically, but this one is not added to our template yet. So we have to exclude it manually. And we can the keys from these elements. Let's go a bit deeper and we can see that in this case, we have two sign up buttons, like sign up and sign up and Localize would propose us to create two different keys, like two element, sign up and sign up with exactly the same key. As it, as it is usually not allowed to have same keys in the same file, Localize supports this and prevents from creating same key names. So let's just look what will happen in this case. First, we will use again, default settings and we will technically allow localize to create duplicate key names, but the duplication would be work around it in a way that key names would still be unique. As you can see that we created 12 keys here. And if we open localize, we will see that the key names, you will see three platforms being assigned and we will see that there is pretty much sim good similarity between the key name and the text. And let's look at our sign up button. So that's not the right sign up. That's the one that we pushed in the previous test. So let's disregard it for now. 
and try to find proper sign up key. Here we go. We we can search by key as it will be faster. So we had two duplicates created because we put these keys, this text as separate keys from Figma. But as you can see, this second key got a postfix, which still made this key unique. Because otherwise, if you don't have any validators and you end up with having two exactly the same keys in your file, this might create some trouble for the application. And Localize has this built-in feature. And actually, if you are trying to create uh, exactly the same key, Localize should warn you that this key name is already taken. So Figma just makes sure that the key name is unique in this case. But this is useful for the cases where you might need to have two different keys for the same text, where you might expect copy to change in one place and not to be changed in the other. Or like in some languages, depending on the context, the same phrase can be translated differently in different places. But if you are pretty much sure that the copy will stay the same, and that you need the same key for these elements, then you can also automatically merge them. So So we can get back to our main page. We can disconnect. Disconnecting will erase all settings, so please don't do it unless necessary. But I'll just connect it to the project so that we are starting fresh and we don't have you know, any association between the tags and keys. Everything, the rest will be the same. So what you can actually do is that you can similarly select all keys and when you will be pushing texts, you can choose one option that will merge the duplicates the text into single key. So as previously, we are using this option of create screenshots create missing keys, and now we are turning on this option, merge and duplicates, which will essentially spot that, okay, there is sign up and sign up text being sent in the same push. And everything that is sent together and has duplicates will be merged into a single key. So in this case, we are pushing 13 text elements and the end result should be just 12 keys if we have only one duplicate. Keys created 12. Although we linked 13 text elements, we have one screenshot. And if we open localize, still being loaded, it's my internet. We, we can see that we will have only one sign up key. Let's wait until it's loaded. So we don't have sign up key point ninety nine key anymore, and
this text should be present in two places on the screenshot. Yes. So this is how linking duplicates works. If you are using any different key naming pattern, then you might avoid the case completely when the text, when localized plugin suggests the same key names, since they might be part of a different artwork or a different combination, you know, nested structure of elements in localized. But you would still be able to create or uh, to merge the duplicates with this function because it's based on texts and it doesn't matter what the key name key names are being proposed by our plugin it just takes the text and merges um, based on text into single key entity 